This week, baby is the size of a pineapple. Welcome to Pregnancy Week 31. everyone 31 weeks pregnant and I think that's crazy but I say that every week so let's just say every week is crazy so this week has been the week of pain seriously I have had cramping in my back which probably has something to do with like stretching and growing um, I've been having a lot of cervix pain like Mila's just been pushing down or scraping or I don't know what the heck that kid is doing but whatever she's doing it's been hurting my cervix I'm pretty sure it's my cervix I figure it's my cervix but um it's just like it's like a stinging fiery pain and I I'm not quite sure what it is I figure it's Mila um hopefully not dilation <laughs> you know because we don't want that happening too soon um but it's just been crazy and the cramps that I was having the other day I had to like almost kind of having my belly hang over my legs and it was just on my back um so I don't think that's Braxton Hicks because I thought Braxton Hicks was like when your stomach kind of got hard um but yeah it just it was like kind of like period pain in my back and I just thought to myself oh my gosh Martin, Martin was in Christchurch <laughs> which is in the South Island and I live in the North Island well we live in the North Island so I was just saying to myself oh my goodness just don't go into labour right now because he would have been drinking and having a good time it was like a work function thing um, and you know at the end of their like course thing they do down there they have like a bar tab and um, anyway, he has three of those trips and that was the second one. The third one is on the 15th of May when I am 38 weeks pregnant. So I said to him, if he goes, he cannot drink alcohol. Because like, imagine if I called him and was like, I'm in labour. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, dear. <laughs> like, I said, you cannot drink if you were going to go to that one on the 15th of May. So um, I was just kind of like, I leaned forward a bit and then it went away and it was fine. Um, but other than that pain, I've also had the tailbone pain is getting worse and it's like even if I'm driving in the car to the shop, um, when I'm sitting on my tailbone, it's fine. It's when I get up and the pressure is off my tailbone, that's when I feel it and I'm just like that is so uncomfortable. So I don't know what that's all about because I never had that with Roman so I don't quite know why my tailbone is being affected of all things. But it is, and it sucks, and it hurts. Um, yeah. Um, okay, the other pain I have had is um, in my chest. Because I have been getting, if you are on my Facebook last night, you would have seen me posting at 1 o'clock in the morning that I was having heartburn. And oh my gosh, it was awful heartburn. Like, I haven't had heartburn all this pregnancy. I had it a couple of times in Roman's pregnancy. But this was like bad, like I had to prop myself up on pillows and I was just about crying. Not because of the heartburn as such, but because I was so exhausted and felt like crap and just really wanted to sleep and had heartburn. Like I was so tired. I'm talking one o'clock in the morning and I went on my Facebook page and I'm like, I've got heartburn. I ended up taking Gaviscon and I was just so exhausted that I didn't actually even look at the packet. Hi darling. Yes? No, that that's the la that was the last one. Coke. Mummy's filming. Coke. There is no more coke. He's uh -huh. saying coke. I, he's not actually meaning like the drink coke. He's meaning it's like a coke flavored like juice ice block. Um, <laughs> leave that please, baby. I took some Gaviscon without actually even looking to see if I was allowed it because I'm pregnant. But um, <laughs> I just took it anyway. And I am one of those people that just doesn't really. Yeah. 
take pills or you know like even when I've got a headache I'm like no I'm gonna do this without Panadol and I just I just don't like taking stuff so but this was so bad that I was like right I'm gonna take some Gaviscon and I'd never taken it before and it was this round kind of chalky looking pill and when I say chalky it tasted chalky well it didn't taste chalky this the taste was sweet but the texture was like eating chalk it was just powdery in my mouth it was weird but it, and I kind of felt like I didn't swallow much because it was all kind of in my teeth and then literally five minutes later heartburn was gone and I was just like oh my gosh relief sweet relief so because this vlog isn't going to be filled up with much Roman has joined us Roman are you going to say hi are you going to wave hi good boy <laughs> Who's room are we in? Mila's room. Um, Roman recently has been asking me to. Um, oh, watch out for the microphone, otherwise they won't be able to hear me. Um, he's been asking to be carried around like a baby. He's been asking to be cradled like a baby, and I just think he's kind of realizing maybe what a baby is and that there's one coming here because that's just bizarre from me saying pick me up like a baby and I'm just like what the heck it's just weird anyway um so I don't have a lot to say in this vlog because I only filmed the 30 week vlog a couple of days ago because I was really late for that so now I'm trying to catch up by filming this one kind of on time sort of day late um so I'm filling it up with a bunch of uh random stuff um so the next thing I'm going to show you is pretty cool and that is a magazine um so I live in New Zealand and one of the um, more popular baby pregnancy magazines we have is um called the oh baby magazine and this is it. Isn't this little girl gorgeous? I hope Mila looks like that. She's gorgeous. Um, so this is um, one of the magazines in New Zealand to do with uh, pregnancy and babies and all that jazz. And um, there's something pretty cool in it. And I will just show you. Ta-da! Who's that person? Who's that? That's Mummy and Daddy. Mummy and Daddy. Are they in a magazine? We're in a magazine. So um, if you go and purchase the Oh Baby magazine, if you're in New Zealand, turn to page 43 and page 44. And um, it's our story about like going through IVF and how we YouTube it. So I um, don't know if you can, can see much, but that's it there, this little bit in here is the words that I had for um, when we were making um, uh, Mila's name reveal. It says, I've cried, I've been disappointed, I found strength I never knew I had. We have lost and loved, but infertility brought us you. Our daughter, our princess, we can't wait to meet you. Welcome to our family. So that's just that little bit in there. So um, if you want to read our story, the title of the um, the actual title of the article is called Holding Hands on the Road to Parenthood. Go Orange needed all her determination and courage to become a mum and it's a journey she shared with parents across the globe. So if you want to read our story then you need to purchase the Oh Baby magazine. Um, if you're overseas, well you can probably still purchase it but you have to pay for shipping. Um, but I actually have one copy of this magazine to give away. So um, I will do that maybe in a separate vlog because if it's a giveaway I probably need to put it in a different vlog. So um, look out for um, a separate vlog where I will, you know, give you the opportunity to put your name in the comments for me to draw out a winner. So that is pretty cool. I hope Mila comes out looking like that. Obviously not looking like that because that's not a newborn. How gorgeous is that baby? Seriously, I just want to eat her up. She's so freaking cute. What she's wearing is cute too, although she's got brown eyes and brown hair. Pretty sure we're not going to get that. I'm pretty sure we're going to get blonde and blue-eyed again because there's no darkness in our genes, unfortunately. So last week I showed you guys that I got my very first bunting in the mail, which was really exciting. And after that whole bunch of you said, yes, we've made one, we just haven't sent it. So I hope you've sent it this week because I really want it to arrive. But I just wanted to show you a photo of the couple since she's given me permission to name her. Um, so this couple here... And they're 
adorable twins. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so that is, and I'm, I apologize severely if I say your name wrong. I'm terrible with names. So if I say it wrong, I'm very sorry. But this is uh, Lin, Ann, Lin, Lin Ann. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. Lin Ann. When I, when I think of you on like Facebook, I just call you Lin. Like I'm just like, oh, that's Lin, you know. So when I have to say it out loud, I'm very sorry if it's wrong. And Corey. So I just wanted to share that. So she made that beautiful bunting that had the two bows up the top. So my baby shower is just two days away. I cannot believe it. It is coming up. So after this, I'm going to be filming my um, baby shower bits and pieces haul for you guys. Um, and um, yeah, just to show you what I've got and kind of the theme that's going on basically. Um, so that should be pretty cool. So keep your eye out for that. Um, another thing that I'm going to show you just to fill up some time is I'm going to hint to Martin. Do you ladies ever like get little jewelry books and then you fold over the page just to hint to hubby what you want? So I don't know how many of you own a Pandora charm bracelet, but I've got one and um, I fill it with charms that actually mean something. I'm the kind of person who likes them to have meaning. So anyway, I've folded down the page because the charm I want is this one here. Is that more in focus? There we go. It's a tiara, you know? I called, I called Mila our little princess, and so that's a tiara, um, a dangling one to it, like the dangly dangling ones so that's pretty cute so I'm kind of hinting to Martin to buy me that uh, because with Roman I have um, I got one that was like an oval with a gem in it and that was to signify um, getting past the first trimester and then we got his birthstone when he was born and then there was another one just because I got just for getting pregnant finally <laughs> Um, so, so Roman's got three and that'll be Mila's first one when I get it because I am going to get it. Martin, are you watching? You taking note? It's on page 30. I've, I've bent it over for you. I'll just leave that on your bedside table, okay? Just for you to have a look. But you better buy it. So surprisingly, I don't have any baby buys today. That's because I showed you the baby buys only two days ago in my 30-week pregnancy vlog. Oh my gosh! So I'm really trying to catch up on these so that they're back on schedule. Um, so my next vlogs that are coming up, uh, we have a really fun vlog coming up. It includes me, my belly, it includes Martin, and a paintbrush. <laughs> so um, keep your eye out for that one. And it's got something to do with Easter, so... If you put two and three and four together, you'll figure out what we're doing. But, um, so we're going to be doing a fun vlog and it'll be nice to finally have Martin in a vlog because he hasn't been in one for a while. So that's a fun vlog coming up. Also, my miscarriage one year later, that vlog is also coming up. We've got the haul. I've got the second hand um, hand-me-down clothing haul. I've got so many vlogs to do and so little time to do them in. I need to do, I think I need, while I've got my camera out and stuff like that, I think I need to film like two vlogs at a time instead of just one. So, um... That is it for this week. It's a short vlog. Wow. Um, the only other thing I'm going to add is that when I do my belly shot, let me know what you think of my size because I had two people today comment on my size. One guy, very, very brave guy at the gas station, he like, he was just, you know, I was swiping my FOS card and stuff and he was like, how long you got to go? And I was like, <laughs> it was just like, I just didn't expect it. A guy, a guy, um, an, an elderlyish man, he probably would have been 50 or 60, um, to ask me how far I had to go. And I was like, I've got um, just over eight weeks to go. And he's like, oh, you're carrying two in there. And I was like, what? Two? I'm not that big, seriously. And then I um, went and dropped off my cake stand to the lady who is making my cake for my baby show, which is going to be gorgeous. She said to me, she's like, you look really big. I'm like, am I, have I actually really gotten her big? Maybe I've just gotten fat. Maybe it's not the baby. Maybe I've gotten fat. I know I've gotten fat. Obviously I've gotten fat. Like if you look back into my first vlogs, this pregnancy, um, 
to now, like even my cheeks have filled out, my undies are getting tighter, I had to go up like two sizes in bras when I went and brought some the other day. Like, I, I know I've put on weight and my back is getting fatter, my back is getting fatter. That is really sad when your back starts getting fat. Is that your money? Okay, you go buy something then. <laughs> Roman's got a bunch of Australian coins that I gave to him to just play with pretty. He goes and buys me chips and chicken McNuggets. Can I, can I have a burger? Can you go buy me a burger? Yes. Okay, thank you. Can oh. I buy a yeah, I want cheese in it. I want cheese in it. Yes, please. Oh. Yeah, go get me a burger with some cheese in it, please. <laughs> oh, make believe with children is so I fun. You can't hear me. A burger with cheese, please. Get cheese, please. Yep, thank you. <laughs> All right, so tell me what you think about my belly size, guys, because I didn't think I was that big. I think she's dropped a bit, but I, I didn't think I was getting that big, but hey, we'll see. So here is the belly shot for week 31. I'll catch you guys in my next vlog, which who knows what it'll be. It could be the baby shower haul. It could be the baby shower, or it could be the, the paintbrush thing. I don't know. I don't know what's coming next. All right, guys, I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.